come again. This is the second and the last example that I'm going to do. So the opening statement says a battery of EMF 24 volts which has no internal resistance is connected in a circuit as in the diagram. The resistance of the ammeter is negligible. Okay, so we are given this circuit diagram having these components the ammeter and the voltmeter and then the resistors. Okay, so as all of you can see, that we have this resistor, this resistor, the 4 ohms resistor, it is in series with our battery because of the current is going to pass directly through it without being split somewhere and then we have these two resistors that are in parallel with each other because of when the current passes it's going to split okay so and then we have this voltmeter that is connected across the 12 ohms resistor so let's see what questions say so we have 1.1 the question says calculate total resistance of the circuit so we are required to calculate the total resistance of the circuit so we all know that the total resistance of the circuit is the same as the resistor is in series plus the resistor that is in parallel okay so rt is the same as the resistor that is in series in this case is the 4 ohms resistor 4 plus these ones are in parallel so we are just going to write it as it is okay so we know that from the formula that I've done in the previous video, 1 over, sorry, 1 over RP is the same as 1 over resistor 1 plus 1 over resistor 2. So it means that the 1 over RP is the same as 1 over the resistor 1 that is in parallel is 12 ohms, 12 ohms plus 1 over 6 ohms. So 1 over RP is the same as 1 divided by 12 plus 1 divided by 6 is the same as. 1 over 4 okay so now since where we want rp not 1 over 1 1 or 1 1 over rp we're just going to introduce the reciprocal or the inverse to, to twist things up then we're going to have rp is the same as 4 over 1 which is the same as 4 so it means that we have 4 ohms so this is the total resistance of those that are in parallel so you're just going to substitute it here okay so therefore it means that our rt is the same as 4 plus 4 okay so it means that total resistance of this circuit is the same as 8 ohms okay I hope you guys have understood that so moving forward the question says calculate the reading of the ammeter so we must calculate the reading of this ammeter so this ammeter remember it measures the current of our circuit so it means that the current is passing through this circuit is measured by this component known as the ammeter. So it means that we want to know what is the current of this circuit. Okay, the total current of the circuit. 
So we all know that according to Ohm's law, the current is directly proportional to the voltage, provided the temperature remains constant. Okay. So already we know what is the total voltage or the EMF of this circuit. Okay. We know that this it is 24 volts. So we're just going to set the shoot here. 24 divided by the total resistance of the circuit, which is 8 ohms. So divided by 8. So it's the same as 24 divided by 8. The same as 3. So it means that the total current that is flowing in our circuit is known as or it is equals to 8 amperes okay so it means that the total current of this circuit this emitter is going to read 3 amperes i hope you guys understand so far so what is the next question the next question says calculate the reading on the voltmeter okay so now we want to know what is the reading in this voltmeter as all of you guys can see that this voltmeter is connected across the 12 ohms resistor so it means that you want to know what is the voltage of this resistor but remember this resistor it is in parallel with the 6 ohms resistor so it means that they have the same voltage because of the uh, in parallel combination remember that uh, the parallel resistors always have the same voltage okay that's one of the basics that we have to know so how are we how are we going to get this voltage we know the total current we know that the current is going to flow from this side from the positive terminal of the battery then when it gets to this point it is going to split some current is going to go this side the other one to go is going to go to this side and the current because of it is three doesn't mean that 1.5 is going to go to go to this resistor and 1.5 to this resistor no why because of our resistors they have different uh, values so it means that this resistor it is bigger than this one so this resistor is going to resist more of the current so remember a resistor it is something that resists the flow of current in a circuit so it means that the only a small amount of current will be able to flow here and then here it's going to be the current that is a little bit higher than of this resistor that's why we cannot assume the amount of current that can flow here we can only know that when we calculate it but in our case you're not required to calculate that they want the voltage that is going to be in this 12 ohms resistor okay so the current is going to flow Sorry. it's going to flow and at this point it combines again when it combines it returns back to 3 amperes and then it's going to pass through the 4 ohms because of it is in series that's why this 4 ohms resistor it gets the total current or the whole of the current of this circuit so it means that we can be able to get the voltage of this resistor once we know the voltage of this resistor we are going to subtract it from the total voltage and then the remaining voltage is going to be that of these resistors because of they are in parallel okay let me do what i'm talking about here let me try to create a space So, you want to know what is the voltage of the 4 ohms resistor. So, we're going to say the voltage of the 4 ohms resistor is the same as 
current multiplied by this resistor this is ohm's law okay so we know the current is going to flow here is three so multiply by the resistor which is four which is the same as three times four is the same as twelve okay So okay, I wanted to confirm because of I don't want to make silly mistakes. So we have 12 volts. Okay, so it's not ohms, it's 12 volts because of now we're talking about voltage. Okay, so it means that the voltage here is 12 volts. So the voltage is going to be measured here in these two resistors. It is the same because of they are in parallel with each other like I have said. So it means that we can just say the total voltage of the circuit is the same as the voltage of those that are in parallel plus the voltage of the one that is in series. This total is of these ones and this one. Okay. So already we know what is the V total. So it's the same as the voltage that is in parallel. We don't know it. That is what we want. Plus the voltage that is in series, which is this one. We have calculated it is, uh, is 12. Okay. So I'm going to continue here. I'm just going to take this 12 to the other side. So when I take 12 to the other side, we're going to have 24 minus 12 which is the same as 12 so it means that 12 is equals to vp so it means that the voltage in this parallel combination is 12 volts so let me just try to write what i have been emphasizing here remember that the voltage of the resistors are in parallel is the same as voltage one, same as voltage two, the same as voltage three, and so on. Okay, this is what I've done in the previous video. Remember this. So since well the VP is of the same, I mean it has the same value as of other resistors that are in parallel. Therefore, it means that the voltage of the 12 ohm resistor is 12. Okay. The voltage of 12 ohm resistor is 12. So, therefore, we can do that. Therefore, because of that's what the question required from us. It said calculate the reading on the voltmeter. So, therefore, the reading of the voltmeter, we write it here. The reading of the voltmeter is the same as 12 volts okay hope you guys have understood that so the last question says calculate the current that is going to flow through the six ohms resistor so we want to know what is the current that is going to flow through this resistor we know the vol the, the, vol the, the voltage already why because of i said the voltage of this one and this one are equal always because of the parallel to each other so we know the voltage here we also know the resistor which is six so you can just easily find what is the current that is going to flow through this resistor it means that we're just going to do substitution so therefore the current of the six ohms resistor is the same as voltage over resistor remember this is ohm law i is equal to v over r so therefore it is the same as the voltage is going to be 12 and then divided by the resistor which is 6 okay resistor is 6 which is the same as 12 divided by 6 is the same as 2 so that means that the current is going to be 2 amperes so you are going to have 2 amperes so it means that when the current the the full current 
flows through the circuit, near the three amperes. When it splits here, means that two amperes is going to come to this side. I'm going to have two amperes coming to this side. Then the remaining current is going to go to this side. So it means that here we're going to have one amperes. So two plus one, they give us three because they're going to combine here after passing through our resistors. When they come here, they're going to combine to make three amperes again. So you can see that I've told you that the current is going to flow in this resistor. It's going to be small. You can see it is one amperes. Why? Because of this resistor, it is larger than this one. And the resistor, it prevents the flow of current. So it means that most of the current was prevented from flowing through this resistor. That's why only a little amount or a small amount, which is one amperes, was able to flow. In this one, this resistor is smaller than this one. That's why it allowed a lot of current to flow. This is why it is small. That means it doesn't have enough power to prevent current to flow. That's why current flows easily as 2 amperes okay i hope you guys have understood what i've done here thank you very much please don't forget to subscribe for more videos that i'm going to do based on other topics okay thank you guys